This usually occurs because of uh, the bacteria, Yersinia pestis, often in, in rodents and then being transmitted to a person through a flea um, and then causing bubonic plague. This means that someone's lymph nodes get infected and they get really hot and uh, really painful and people are pretty sick. Uh, uh, if it goes a little beyond that, septicemic plague, where now the bacteria is in the blood, and then it can get to pneumonic plague, where it then goes to the lungs. And when we have pneumonic plague, people will be coughing and it can actually spread the bacteria, spread the infection from person to person through these respiratory droplets. Um, and then people are in, then infected without actually being in contact with the infected vector, without being in contact with that rodent flea. And so right now there are cases of pneumonic plague coming from human to human transmission occurring in Madagascar. Now plague thankfully is treatable with antibiotics. Uh, and, uh, and people who have been exposed, you can give them antibiotics to uh, prevent that developing into infection. Public officials are concerned about this going on in Madagascar and potentially uh, moving to neighboring areas. Uh, at this point, uh, I think it's unlikely that this is going to go much farther beyond that, uh, just because by the time people are able to transmit, they're pretty sick. And it's unlike Ebola, where uh, any body fluid would be infectious. When we talk about pneumonic plague, really it's just these respiratory droplets. And so a routine surgical mask will prevent transmission.